welcome to the channel. In today's tutorial, we'll learn how to interface a 16x2 LCD display with an I2C interface adapter using the ESP32 node MCU. This project is perfect for beginners and DIY enthusiasts looking to add visual output to their electronics projects. We'll cover everything from setting up the hardware connections to installing the necessary libraries in the Arduino IDE. You'll see how to write the code to display messages on the LCD, making it easy to understand how this technology works. We will be using the following components in this project, the ESP32 node MCU, an I2C interface adapter, and a 16x2 LCD display. First, connect the I2C interface adapter to the 16x2 LCD display, ensuring that you properly align the pins. Once aligned, solder the pins to secure the interface between the LCD and the adapter. If you have a pre-soldered LCD display with an I2C adapter available in the market, you can use that instead of soldering the pins yourself. This option simplifies the setup process and saves you time. Now, let's proceed with the wiring between the I2C interface adapter and the ESP32 board. The I2C interface adapter features four main pins, GN, ground, VCC, power, typically plus 5 volts, SDA, serial data line, and SCL, serial clock line. These pins are essential for connecting the adapter to the ESP32. The ESP32 has multiple GPIO, general purpose input, output, pins for I2C communication. Common default pins are SDA on GPIO 21 and SCL on GPIO 22, which can be specified in your code. To connect the I2C adapter to the ESP32, connect the GND pin of the adapter to a GND pin on the ESP32. Then, connect the VCC pin to the 5V pin, or 3.3V if your ESP32 only supports this voltage. Next, link the SDA pin of the adapter to GPIO 21 on the ESP32 and the SCL pin to GPIO 22. These connections will enable communication between your ESP32 and the I2C devices. Once you have completed the wiring, plug in the USB cable from your PC or laptop to power up the ESP32 board. You should see the LCD's background LED glowing, indicating that the LCD is properly interfaced with the ESP32. At this point, you are ready to upload the code to the board. In this video, we demonstrated two different codes. The first code tests the I2C interface adapter hardware to determine whether it has an address of 0x27, 0x3F, or another variant. The second code displays text on the 16x2 LCD. If you already know the I2C interface version, you can directly proceed with the second code. Now, let's begin with the first code to check the I2C hardware version. Make sure to select the correct board and port in your Arduino IDE before compiling the code. This step is essential to ensure that your code uploads correctly to the ESP32. To do this, go to the Tools menu, select Board, and choose the appropriate ESP32 board model. Then, select the corresponding port that your ESP32 is connected to. Once you've made these selections, you're ready to compile and upload your code. Once you have uploaded the code, open the Arduino serial monitor to view information about the I2C interface hardware version. The serial monitor will display the detected I2C address, such as 0x27 or 0x3F, allowing you to confirm the version of your I2C interface adapter. Make sure to set the baud rate in the serial monitor to match the one specified in your code, typically 115200, for accurate communication. This will help you verify that your setup is working correctly before proceeding to display text on the LCD. Here, we found the address 0x27, which confirms the version of your I2C interface adapter. For the second code that displays text on the LCD, make sure to specify the address 0x27 in that code. As per the LCD display code, you need to install the necessary library for the LCD display. 
We have tested the latest version of the Liquid Crystal underscore PCF8574 library, which you should install in your Arduino IDE. This library allows you to interface with the I2C controlled LCD display and provides the functions needed to display text and control the backlight. Once you have installed the library and modified the code according to your I2C address, compile the code and upload it to the board. This step ensures that the program is correctly transferred to the ESP32, allowing it to communicate with the LCD display and execute the desired functions. After the upload is complete, your LCD should be ready to display text as specified in the code. Finally, after uploading the code to the board, you should see the text displayed on the LCD. If the text appears dull or is not visible, you may need to adjust the I2C interface potentiometer. This adjustment will help modify the display contrast or brightness, ensuring that the text is clear and easily readable. For further clarification, we provide in-depth explanations of these features in additional segments of this video series. Additionally, you can explore more examples of code related to LCD display projects. If you found this video helpful, please consider supporting us by liking, sharing, or subscribing to our channel. Your support enables us to create more content and provide valuable resources to our audience. Every bit of support is greatly appreciated. Thank you.